say to me in Bowers Game Corner. Hey YouTube, I'm back again today for another how to play video and today I'm gonna teach you how to play Snatching Pairs. This is for two to six players, take it 15 to 30 minutes to play, it's for ages seven plus. First thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to have as many pairs as there are the players there are at the table, minus one. So in a six player game, you lose all five pairs. In a three player game, you'd only have two pairs. So we're gonna set up a four player game right here. Now, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to want, to want to get to all these little tokens right here. These will be victory points. They'll be increments of one or 10 and just make sure everyone can reach those. Then you're going to take all the tiles and mix them up. These are essentially memory tiles because this is, in essence, a memory game. You're going to literally run around the table as fast as you can, and the first person to complete a lap will be the first person to go. And on your turn, it's really quite simple. What you're going to do every turn is you are going to flip over two tiles, and one of three things is either going to happen. First, if you don't match anything, you don't match the color, you don't match anything at all, then your turn is over, you flip them back over, and it goes to the next person. Next, if you flip over the same color, it is a race for everyone to try and reach into the center and grab a pair and pull it back. The person who does not grab a pair will not get a point. Everyone else who's able to get a pair will grab one point from the box and then put the pairs back. Then you'll flip these back over and it will go to the next player's turn. And last, if you flip over two tiles that are identical, you put those in front of you, that'll be worth two points at the end of the game, and you take another turn. And you're going to keep taking turns doing that until all of these tiles are gone. At which point, everyone will count up the number of tiles they have in front of them, because these will be one victory point a pop, and they'll count up the number of victory points they have, and whoever has the most will be the winner. Now, if there is a tie, only the tied players are going to play a two-player head-to-head game with ten pairs of matches out there. And that will decide who is the winner. Some other minor rules, you can only grab one pair when you reach in to get them. If you want to make the game a little bit shorter, you can take out a couple matches at the beginning of the game, and that will speed things up. And if you ever accidentally snatch or touch one of these when you're not supposed to, you lose a point. Unless, of course, you don't have any points, in which case you can touch them all you want. And if playing with the pairs is causing problems, you can get rid of those, and you can just play a regular matching game. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters, and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month, and as always, thanks for stopping by.